A local high school is in the national spotlight tonight. I don't think adults really get how hard it is to be a teenager right now. Seven adults went undercover at Highland Park High School for an in-depth look at the things your kids won't tell you about. The show uncovers high school premiere or high premiere tomorrow, but KSNT News reporter James Ryan got a sneak peek at the groundbreaking series tonight. In the premiere episode of Undercover High, viewers will see how students here at Highland Park High School deal with today's toughest issues, including race, sex, and violence. High school, <laughs> rough. Throughout my life, I've had experienced poverty, homelessness, and some forms of bullying. DeAndre Phillips is one of a group of teens highlighted in A&E's Undercover High. DeAndre and others at Highland Park got a sneak peek at the first episode of the series Monday. He says it's true to life. You know, it's my life. I lived that moment. And to everyone else, they just think that it's a TV show. District leaders held a panel discussion after the viewing to explain what they hope to learn from the experience. Students are exposed to so many other things that we have not seen, that we were not exposed to just five years ago. Cops, drugs, fights, cyberbullying, self-harm. A good portion of the first episode deals with social media and harassment teenage girls deal with. There's probably going to be a nude on Facebook tonight. It's crazy. How we empower women today to know that not only do they have a voice, um, but they also have the right to be respected as women and leaders. By bringing issues like these to a national audience, school leaders hope it will push parents and other family members to be more engaged with their teens. Be that listening ear, but also be the person to probe. Um, for some kids, a life in a cell phone is a secret life. A secret life undercover high hopes to bring to light. In Topeka, James Ryan, KSNT News. All right, thank you, James. Now, Undercover High premieres tomorrow night at 9 on A&E.